Hello everyone, welcome back to another action video. Uh, today we will do an educational commentary on the red black deck that was that Hoi played in We Play Tournament. Uh, today we have Swaggy joining us. Swaggy, introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Garrett. I go by Swaggy G in game, play Artifact and Hearthstone mainly. You check him on Twitter. He, uh, he, he plays a lot of Hearthstone tournaments. You might have seen him in Hearthstone, um, mm -hmm. Tour Stop and stuff. Um, all right. Uh, anything before? Oh, so this is the deck list here. Um, it's it's what Hoy had. It's it's pretty much a copy of this list. So there's some unique cards like Nevermores and Phase Boots, which is an an odd item deck that you don't usually see in other decks. All right, it's a mirror, I guess. This would be interesting. Um, you just like a legionnaire here? So, take a look at the, the rest of the board, see kind of what's going on. Obviously, we only have red cards in hand, so yeah. nothing we can do on that lane. He has Battle Legionnaire here, and one here. Right. It's kind of tough to take the lane that Axe is in, but I think it's going to be okay to play one in, in the first lane. Like, how, how afraid are you usually when you see an Axe in a lane? So, in my experience, the in this matchup, it comes down a lot to which lane Axe is in, he usually is able to win the, the lane on his own. So you want to be the one with Axe further left, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think we can just play another one here. Um, we have two options here, I guess. You could take a cloak and a TP scroll, or take the dagger. Take a look at the board. So the cloak isn't really going to save anything. The blink dagger is always nice to have, so I definitely would just grab the dagger now. Fair enough. Um... So where do you want to put Sorla? Uh, I guess he might go left uh, to secure the left lane. Um, mm -hmm. We could go mid and secure that, I guess. Kind of. Yeah, I like going mid. It, it, it's, there's a really good chance that Sorla gets to go face, which is kind of the point. Yeah, uh, you want to enough. be pushing the 12. Yeah. Because we could spend our mana on every lane. Oh, we need to draw some black cards. That'd be great. But yeah, you're right. So, like in situations like these, um, like, you, I guess we're giving up this lane. Um, so, would you consider like dueling the Sorla to get? Um, uh, he's doing it for us. But like, if you had a chance, would you consider dueling the Sorla so that um, a hero is out and you have gold to spend? Or is yeah, that. that yeah, that plus, we're not killing anything anyways, so we're, you know, if we just go to combat and just pass, then we're pretty much completely conceding this lane. And it's, with a deck like this, it's not that hard to, to push 80. What do you think about this play that uh, this guy made, um, just to kill off a creep? Is the damage pushing, like, right now, that worth it? So, I, it doesn't, at this point, like, if, if he was going to be popping you this turn, then I can see using the second duel to, to push enough damage to basically reset you at 80. But he's not doing that. He doesn't know where the creeps are going to spawn next turn. So, it's tough to say whether he's even going to pop you next turn if it's worth it. Yeah. Um, so, you like this passing here? Or do you, do you consider playing Nevermore? Because the problem is the creeps have both... Yeah, targeting this creep. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it pushes an additional six damage phase. Take a look at the right line. Losing time here. Yeah, I think I like playing it. Okay. On the right? Just put the pressure on. Yeah, yeah, on the right side. E either side would probably be fine here. Just because both would guarantee to go face. Uh, no, the, the reason I think of positioning here was because of like Berserker's call or something like that, that you want the, the key targets to be spread out or something. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess it doesn't matter right now. Yeah. Take a look at the left lane. We could consider blinking this axe, but I think that we would want to just go to combat here. Yeah, I like the combat too. Um... Usually you want to try to blink from left to right. That way you basically get two turns out of the same hero rather than right to left because then yeah, you're yeah, not getting an additional turn. Yeah. Okay. Grab them all. Good for assault ladders or the oath, or <clears throat> if he plays any of those improvements. Uh, south too, I guess. You might need to heal at some point, but I guess you can pass yeah. if you want. The worst. Take a look at take a look at our heroes. Yeah, it's unlikely that we'll need to use the heal this turn. I'd rather just save the gold for for something else later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now here's the difficult question. Um, so he he could just go both right and just hard push that lane. So, mm -hmm. do we go double right? Is that? It? So it's a little bit scary to just give up the left lane so early because he can easily just pop us a turn and then push for AD. Um. That being said, I think. I think I like double right. Alright, so he's going one mid. Uh, he needs, I guess, yeah, so a situation like these, um, could, could I put the Nevermore on the left there? So, like, to what Berserker's called? But I guess it's five mana, so he can't do, actually, never mind. It's, it's, not, it's not relevant right now. Nah, he gets to pop us on this lane. A little scary if he plays March of Machines in the mid lane, since we have Nevermore down. Yeah. Yep, there yeah. is. There's no real reason for him to play that these weapons here. He was already popping us exactly, so the additional damage is not really relevant. <laughs> Take a look at the right lane. Uh, seems fine. Um, he doesn't we have. Can play more yeah, we could play March on this lane, so that if this trade goes off here, play it on the mid lane. Because if the trade goes off in the mid lane, then the March will... Clear it off next turn? Yeah. Uh, the, what I was thinking about was, like, playing the mall, um, and, like, maybe... So we, we can we kill it off and we get rid of the March? I, I, it, it doesn't work that way, but, um, um like... It's better to kill it at the beginning of the turn than at the end of the turn, just because 
if we kill it now, it comes back in two turns. But if we kill it at the beginning of next turn, it effectively doesn't get to do anything. And it has to come back two turns after that. Yes, yeah, so we could pass something. here. Yeah, something's happening. Um, I guess that's, that's a high roll there. So we just pass again? Is there nothing else relevant, right? Unless you want to blink something out of here. So he has one hero coming down next turn. We have initiative right now, so... Yeah. It's good to hold initiative into a turn where we could potentially have two black heroes in, in the mid lane, where if we draw Coup de Gras, then we get to use it on his before he can use it on ours. So it's better to try to hold initiative if we can. Okay. Uh, well, um, our mid lane is... Uh, we have probably have two red heroes here, but yeah. Consider it. Um, and why would he do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So he ganked uh, to push more damage. So do you think um, he's setting up for like a, he's setting up for like the oath on this lane to try to push more? Um, we can we can blink our hero out now that's blocked by that. We can blink the PA because it's, we're still gonna get the kill here. Um, I like kind of like blinking the PA to the middle lane. We're still gonna get the kill here. Middle lane, right? Uh, yeah. Just so that you have uh, diversity with the cars, is that why you, why you want in the middle lane? So you want like yeah, and we might want to play a, a red hero. That's fine because we'll have Tinker's ability up at the beginning of next turn. Yeah. But we might want to play a red hero into the left lane so we can berserkers call and not let him just push AD. Would you like to draw a card? It doesn't seem... Yeah, I think the this this next turn is going to be one of the most important turns in the game. So, and we're we're likely to get a couple hero kills on turn six. So, I'd rather have an additional card to try to do something with it. <clears throat> All right. Um. So PM might go left, I guess. Um. Mm -hmm, I can see that. <clears throat> so what do you like Axel Legion Commander? So if we play the Legion Commander left and it gets paired up in front of the red or the black hero, we can just Berserker's Call and and clear both of them. Um so I think I like the Legion Commander left and the um axe mid. Yeah. Uh maybe axe right actually. Let's go Axe right. We're going to get this kill here in the mid lane, and we need to push more damage on the right. Yeah, I like this. He decided to go mid. I guess he he's considering that we might go left, so that's fair. Guess we just call here. So if we don't, then he's pushing an additional 14. Yeah, I like, I like call here. You can draw. Uh, yeah, you're right. While we don't have initiative. Yeah. Eris, at least we stalled the left lane a bit, which is nice. Probably gonna be a group to draw here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nothing, nothing we can do. Start with uh, just the shot from Tinker. Um, so here's the <clears throat> question. Um, 
Are you going to like grant an oath or something? So what we can do is we can play the grunt here and play the Demagic Mall on the Tinker and then gank to the mid lane. Uh, it'll leave the PA at one health and that way whenever we play Sorla back down in the mid lane next turn, she'll be the only hero alive. Um, that's really the only way we're going to be able to... Okay, you, so you want to Maul the Tinker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to. His, is that 10 health in the mid? Yeah, so we maul it and then the March of Madness finishes it off? Mm hmm. Okay. The nice thing is we could potentially even get Sorla matched up into the PA. So then it'll be able to go face after the March clears it up. Yeah, I'll start just buying through this, um... Uh, I'm deck. So, keep going. Yep. Yeah, we really needed a weapon, but... So do you want to consider uh, heal here? Just in case? Yeah, we can take heal. We already have three, uh, three health uh, items. Yeah. Alright. Let's put Tora here. Mm. We want to see this go into the PA. I guess it, no, the tutu is fine as well, right? Right, yeah, that works as well. Yeah. Okay. But... Look at the right lane. So we just duel that with axe, and then we have uh, one over lethal there. Yeah. So we're good here, and and we might, we might just win. Oh, he, oh, we, he, we, he we, just, we do win because we just do we we have yeah, we perfect. Just do it and then, yeah, just remove him. and he has nothing else to do because all his heroes are dead. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting game. All right. The deck has a the deck has a lot of good removal cards, right? With Berserker's Call, Duel, Coup de Gras, and Gank. There's a lot of ways to remove, and a lot of people think that those are dedicated to removing heroes. But sometimes you need to use those to remove creeps, so you could push additional damage. So it, his play may or may not have been wrong. Um, he just committed to a game plan where he was trying to go for 80 in the left lane way too early before he saw the way that the game was developing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, committing, uh, and also like, w I guess p get winning the left lane and having uh, and finishing us finishing the tower off that quickly it makes the people a bit a bit cockier. Um, yeah. Maybe he was thinking that through. He just played cards because he was ahead. Um, mm. Yeah. We, 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 we play, we, we thought about our plays a bit more since we were behind. Um, yeah. This is a good game. Um, thanks for helping me. I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have seen those plays that we did. Um, yeah, that's why I have you have professional players here because I'm a cash bull and I can't do this with that by myself. Um, yeah. Uh, any last words? No. Anytime you want to have me back, feel free to just reach out. Yeah. Uh, so, guys... Uh, Give him a follow on Twitter. He's an awesome guy. He does Hearthstone stuff. And maybe he'll do artifact stuff if you... Um, are you going to consider doing artifact stuff? I've been spending a lot of time playing artifact, just kind of waiting for Blizzard to decide what they want to do with esports, but i um, more than happy to play either or both games. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you.